So in this next problem, we know this number n is an element of the set 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 1.4, 2, and 7. It's saying that there's a number that is an element of this group, so it's one of these numbers. And if you took 4.2 and multiplied it by n, and then divided it by 1.2, you would get an integer, which is a positive or negative whole number. And I think an idea here is to look for patterns if you can't see any other shortcut. You have these twos and sevens, and this 1.4 here. So if we went straight for two as our first guess, uh, we can have a starting point. So 4.2 times two, and then divided by 1.2. Um, so, oops, 1.2 is remaining the same in all these choices. But 4.2 times two, that's gonna change. So let's look at what happens. 4.2 times 2 is like 2 times 4, which is 8, and then 2 times 0.2, which is 0.4. That divided by 1.2. Well, 1.2 times 7 is 7 times 1 is 7, and then 7 times 0.2 is another 1.4. So in fact, that worked out very nicely when the answer is 7. So the integer that works here is 2. So we plug 2 in, we get a whole number. Careful not to put 7 there because that's the answer. I am curious though if there's a shorter way to solve this one other than just trying the numbers. I can't see a good pattern here. Um, 61 says, how many numbers in the set above, so this group of numbers, have 5 as a factor but do not have 10 as a factor? So we, we want to look for a pattern here. So we start at 1, we're going all the way to 178. So as we go along, we want to find out have 5 as a factor, but not 10. So remember, 5s go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so forth. And every other number is a, um, uh, a multiple of 5. So all of these numbers have factors of 5, but not 10. So we can keep counting. We can keep doing this. Or we can try and look for a pattern. So far, I have one, two, three, four numbers. And then keep going. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Oops, 75, 80. 85, 90. 95, 100. And I'm going to stop there because now I can definitely establish a pattern that when I get to 55, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers that work. And notice that that means that these are all out. And then the next 50, I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers that are multiples of 5 but not 10. So the th same thing is going to happen in the next group, except we're only going up to 178. So we're going to have another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on top of the ones we have already. So we have 8 plus the original, which is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or 18. In the next one, we know that n, some number n, is an even integer, and it's bigger than 10 and less than 19. So it's between 10 and 19. What is the mean of all possible values of n? So what are our integers? We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. These would all work. I'm going to add the 10s up first to quickly add this up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Plus, I'm going to look for 10s in the 1s column. We have this 8 right here and this 2. That's 110. We have this 7 and this 3. That's another. We have this 6 and this 4. That's another. And then we have the 5 and 1 left over, so plus 6. So this is 90, 110, that's adding all these up, plus 6, so it's 116, oops, 
116, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So we're dividing this by 8. So 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 20 is 160. It's definitely between 10 and 20. And look at our choices. There they all are. To help guide myself, there's H right there, 15. 8 times 15, you can think of it as 8 times 10 plus 8 times 5, so it's 80 plus 40 or 120. A little bit too big, so 14 and a half is the correct choice.